experience meet. Today I have a long grow on the cask and I think it's just called long grow or maybe the the second line here, long grow, oh, you can't see much because of the reflection, long grow petered, but yeah, maybe long grow is petered, so yeah, long grow. It's their non-age statement version. It's the petered whiskey from Springbank, the distillery of Springbank in Campbelltown. And a little bit of a recap, Campbelltown had, I think, 34 distilleries and amongst them were Hazelburn, Longrow and Springbank. Now there's only Springbank left. They opened and closed a few times, but they were pretty much the only ones with Glen Scotia that just survived. Now they've uh, built a third distillery, the uh, Glen Gyle distillery, or is it the Glen Gyle brand? And the Gl no, it's Kilcarran is the uh, malt, uh, the, the whiskey and Glen Gyle is the distillery, but they are connected to Springbank. They once shared, or maybe they still do. Last time I was there, they still shared their malting floors with Springbank. Coming to that, Longrow and Springbank, they do uh, have their, their own malting floors and they are only 100% malted barley on malting floors. So very, very traditional. And that is the reason why Springbank whiskey is once, for once it is so rare and for the other, why it is so expensive. I think I had something in the news of um, they are being so heavily limited that um, it's very, yeah, very, they are very nice for the collectors and kind of the in speculators, the investors that invest into whiskey that grows in, in price then. So um, I think one whiskey wholesaler just said, hey, we're not selling to any shops anymore because in shops people tend to buy the bottles and uh, <clears throat> store them. And he met, uh, thought that Springbank whiskey is meant to be drunk. And so he only sold out to bars. Yeah. So. But still, we do, we are shop, we are still selling whiskies in bottles to the end consumer that might as well be investors, but yeah, yeah. you can't really uh, help that. I'm, I'm really, I'd really like to see that uh, Springbank, I don't know, they do have, back in the day, they still had some place for more malting floors and they could do similar stuff like uh, the Danish distillery. What was their name? I don't know. Um, and they had a very yeah, nice system with rakes and just kind of jazzed up the whole malting floor thing. Yes, malting floors are the old traditional way. Horst would say they are yeah, not as hygienic and not have not as much quality, but they are traditional. But you could, I don't know, upgrade it to mechanized malting floors so people don't have that, that bad... I think monkey shoulder is not the problem anymore, but you still get it in your back if you work on a malting floor. So yeah, anyways, during the uh, time uh, in the malting, this uh, malt gets 48 hours of peat smoke, uh, which is quite a lot. I always thought they were like a few hours of peat smoke and then they're dry, but um, yeah, they do heavily peat them under 48 hours. Um, yeah, enough said, I will say let's try it. Oh, smoky, yeah, yeah, you definitely realize that is a smoky, smoky whiskey. Hmm? A little bit of roundness going on. It doesn't say anything about the casks, but it does have that nice bourbon character to it, creamy, Ah, vanilla caramel hmm? with a with a good amount of whiff of smoke in there yeah but it it's a, a nice combination of sweetness and smokiness i do like it the the smoke is um a little bit of a dry smoke it's not like medicinal maritime stuff but a little bit of a dry one combined a bit of, with a chimney one so it's a a very, I would say, a light whiskey with more a good amount of peat. 
more smoke really wild smoke in there this feels like a 45 ppm or something around there so definitely a 40 ppm plus whiskey mm. and you realize it's not an old one mm -hmm. it's not it doesn't have any youth side effect in it i would estimate it to seven years or something like that and it has a nice bourbon character to it but it does not have um any um any really wood old kind of style in there also when you compare it to other springbank whiskies springbank brands then this here is a double distilled one springbank has a a bit of smoke and um a 2.5 2.71 i'm not quite sure you can watch the distillery video if you uh want to find out how the spring ring is distilled and the hazelborn burn is triple distilled so um yeah this is a bit more rough double distilled is still very good it's it's not that it's it has any problems but it's a bit more spicy a bit more more oomph uh, behind it if you uh, double distill it rather than triple distill it mm. Mm. it's strange it's rather easy in when you have it in your mouth and then it hits you with flavors a little bit of a spiciness going on as well a little bit of an oakiness going on a lot of smoke coming through and the nice mm, a touch of bourbon character a little bit of sweetness a little like caramel that kind of stuff so it's a, a nice smoky well double distilled a uh, spring bank brand with a lot of smoke in it yeah that is my take on the long grow p ted thank you very much for watching and see you next time mm -hmm.